this video is about the complex analysis practice problems so after completing the full complex analysis theory course i thought we should get some practice on complex analysis so i thought we should solve my own complex analysis exam paper which i got in my university but one thing i want to tell you is that my exam was not only for complex analysis it was also for integral transform so half of the exam paper was of complex analysis so we will solve those complex analysis problems in this practice session and i will just arrange those videos together in which the problems are solved for different types of topics so first let's solve the one mark problem also in this practice problem solving session i will not solve the theory problems like for example this one this is a question asking to state the de moivre's theorem we have done that i've just stated the question to show you how the exam comes and what type of questions are asked in the exams so let's solve the one mark problems first so in the one mark problem they ask to state the de moivre's theorem which is simply for example cos theta plus iota sin theta raised to the power n is equal to cos of n theta plus iota sin of n theta so this is basically the de moivre's theorem so we have to state this we just have to give the statement also now the second question is this one that is what is the product of three cube roots of unity which are for example 1 omega omega square these are the three cube roots of unity so now how do we find these three cube roots of unity we use the de moivre's theorem to find 1 1 by 3 this is we have to find so we will multiply these three cube roots of unity and get a an answer but this question is just for one mark question we want to all this this is simply like multiplying three cube root of unity which is omega cube and omega cube is to our 1 by 3 is 1 so the answer is 1 so the next question in one mark problem was asked to find that if this fz equal to z square is analytic or not now think you have done the whole complex analysis course how we will solve this if you said we will use the cauchy riemann equation then you are right so we will write z is equal to x plus i by whole square so we will just apply the a plus b whole square formula x square iota square is minus 1 minus y square plus 2 i a b so now just rearranging it x square minus y square plus iota times 2 x y so now just applying the cauchy riemann equation this is u and this is v so now del u by del x is equal to we we'll just partial derivative with respect to x which is 2 x minus 0 so it is 2 x now del v upon del y del v upon del y which is equal to 2x so these are equal so first condition is satisfied now second condition which is del u upon del y is equal to minus 2y this x is taken as a constant so it becomes zero and del v upon del x is equal to 2y so we got del v upon del x is equal to minus of del u upon del y so the cauchy riemann equation are satisfied hence this function is analytic so now let's move on to the next question this question is like an analytic function with constant absolute value is and its answer is constant so only a constant thing have a constant absolute value which is analytic so now the next question is define cauchy inequality so the cauchy inequality is a theory problem i want solve this you just have to give the definition of cauchy inequality now the next problem is this we have to find what type of singularity is in there is this function so we will just do this multiply this by this taking lcm z is for 4 minus 1 upon z square now at z equal to 0 this is not analytic but if we multiply this 
by z minus 0 square z is for 4 plus 1 upon z square and we take the limit as z approaches to 0 these two will cancel each other and at z approaches to 0 this is 1 so this gave us a finite result hence z equal to 0 is a double pole because there is a power of 2 in here so that's why it is a double pole or the pole of order 2 now the next question is what is a residue this is a theory part you just have to say what is that a minus 1 thing now in here they ask us to find the expression for Cauchy Riemann equation you just have to give the expression these one these expressions so now you have to find the value of cos inverse i so now to solve this we just it's really simple is equal to x let's take it as x so iota is equal to cos x now iota can be written as cos of pi by 2 which is 0 plus iota sine of pi by 2 sine of pi by 2 is 1 so writing it like this cos pi by 2 plus iota sine pi pi 2 is equal to cos x now comparing real and imaginary part we get cos x is equal to cos pi by 2 so we get x as pi by 2 so that's it for this video these were all the one my question i got from the complex analysis part of my syllabus so thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything